Hello and welcome to part 3 of the tutorial. For today's tutorial you're going to need the mainboard, a soldering iron, a multimeter, a transistor for last time, solder and various tools. Let's start off assuming that you already have the two resistors. You need to strip the wire so that it's bare on both ends. You'll need three wires stripped in this way for this stage, however we will need a few more before the end of this experiment. Now you're going to need to solder all of these items together in this approximate configuration. Hmm. Alright, so your final product should look something like this. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure that they're all connected. Alright, for this stage you're going to need the multimeter and your transistor on a heatsink. Basically just turn your multimeter on, put it onto the ohms setting, and connect the two terminals. Oh look at that, it's working straight away. And assuming that it doesn't work around the other way, we'll be laughing. Awesome, basically you've just determined which one's the base and the emitter. This one is the base and this one is the emitter, obviously with the shell outer casing thingy being the collector. You now need to solder this end of the approximately 20 ohm resistor to the emitter of your transistor. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed any of my videos, please feel free to subscribe.